today, so it's been a while. Yeah, I'm on my way to Comfest. It's Friday, it's the 24th, it's about 7.30 at night, and I'll be there in about a half hour. I'm gonna go and do some networking, and figure what better place to tap into the uh, Columbus alternative music market than Comfest, you know? I've been doing pretty well getting into the rock market, but from what I understand, it's a pretty thriving scene in the alternative market. I need to start tapping into that. But anyway, so I'm on my way to ComFest, and it's going to be a blast, and I'm hoping to make some good connections for the studio, for my music, for Project Divide's music, just in general, you know? Anyway, it's been a while since I've done a video blog, so I figured, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and hop on here and see what's going on. First of all, my regular blog, I've posted a couple of blogs on it lately that were more informative about music industry than about what's been going on with the studio, because really I hadn't done anything with my regular blog in a while, kind of like these video blogs, but the regular blog for Skyline Sound Studios, which you can get to on the Skyline Sound Studios website, skylinesoundco.info. It, right now, it's uh, it's got a couple of really cool articles up there. One of them about uh, why Ohio is a great place for bands who uh, are from the area to go on mini tours because you've got so many places in the close proximity to play. And the other one is about trying to set up your band more like a business as opposed to just, uh, you know, if you're wanting to expand and grow as a band and try to make a career out of it, that is trying to treat your band more like a business as opposed to just a bunch of guys getting together and playing music. Because otherwise, well, just, just read the blogs. Anyway, so those are up there. They've gotten some good reactions, you know. Uh, and uh, other than that, you know, it's been a while since I've done a video blog, I admit. So let's do a quick catch up. And anyway, by morning, they got on the Blitz on local stuff. I can't recall if that had happened yet as of my last video blog, but I got them on the Blitz. And now they're back in the studio to record a full length. Of, well, it's debatable whether or not it's a full length album or not. I say it's pretty much a full length. It's got eight songs on it, and including the one that uh, we recorded which is called This Is It, and you can hear it on my webpage. You can also hear it on enemybymorning.com. That's M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G.com. Uh, other than that, I've done some work with Liquid Gandhi, which was pretty cool. It's just a demo. You know, nothing real professional sounding, but say, sometimes it's all a band really needs. Uh, you know, just something to help them get gigs with. That was the point behind that. Also, I am still working on the Project Divide four-song EP. We've had Jonathan Boyer from Mini Me by Morning come in and put down bass on a song. We've had um, Steve Albenz from, uh, I don't know if it's Albenz or Albenzi. It's got an E at the end. Uh, anyway, Steve from Out of Black came in and put down a solo on a song. And uh, Rob Mutchler, who uh, is also known as Barab from The Blitz, came in and put down bass on another song, which, you know, it's going to be really cool once we get all that stuff mixed. I've still got some vocals to lay down and some mixing to do on those last two songs before the EP is ready. Other than that, uh, let me see other clients that I've worked with. I have had a couple of hip-hop projects come down, you know, which is really cool because I didn't have much hip-hop at all in Colorado. I had one client and that was pretty much it. Uh, but now, I, you know, I, I'm working to help craft some beats for a client. I am working on you know, recording some, uh, recording some vocals over some already recorded beats for a couple of clients. I, um, you know, one of them, they, one of my clients, Trick or Treat, he, uh, actually, you know, recorded everything in his home studio with his home Pro Tools rig, sent it to me to be mixed, and that was a fun project, too. So, a lot of hip-hop coming down. I've had some rock projects, like I said, Liquid Gandhi, uh, let me see, uh, Enemy by Morning. Brian Banks from Enemy by Morning may be coming in to do a solo acoustic EP. I might not. It's really kind of up in the air what that would really be. It's been hinted that it would be a solo acoustic thing. It's also been hinted that it could be something a little bit more expansive, you know, full-fledged versions of the songs. I had Rob Hevelin, who was also my old bass player from Day 9 back like six years ago, came in and recorded a, um, a demo of a bunch of songs acoustically. Uh, you know, just did kind of a live pass thing. Nothing really special there, just something to help him get some, uh, get some bar gigs, you know, doing his solo acoustic thing. And some other possibles coming down. 
uh, and, you know, just some things that we're tr trying to iron out the details for and hopefully get some other people into the studio. So, you know, business is rolling. The summer is picking up. We're about halfway through with the year, and I'm starting to get business rolling in on a somewhat consistent basis, so I'm pretty excited about that. So things are going well with Skyline. Uh, I, I know that I didn't touch on this with the last update. We now have Pro Tools 9. We have a 27-inch iMac. You know, awesome, awesome core system here now at Skyline Sound Studios. Uh, you know, we can utilize Steven Slate drums through a Roland V kit to get really quick and easy, good pro drum sounds if you're looking for that. You know, just a lot of cool things coming down equipment-wise, a lot of cool things coming down project-wise, and it's a really good time for this business. Things are starting to grow. So, you know, if, if you feel like you might want a demo recorded or a or something of a higher quality recorded, you know, for whatever reason, anything you need audio-wise, just go ahead and hit us up, and we'll try to get something worked out for you. Anyway, um, so those are the main things that are going on in regard to the studio, and we might even have some live gigs coming down, uh, you know, later in the summer. That's not something that's ironed out yet, but I'd be using uh, John Sponicky and Michelle Sponicky, the the people in my uh, in the video team that I have on Retainer to help with any video projects that might come down. I've got a few clients interested in music videos through them. If, if you're looking for video for your audio, you know, hit us up too. We can help you out with that. A lot of cool things coming down, and I can't wait to see how the rest of the year develops because if it keeps going like this, it's going to be a pretty big year for Skyline. So anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you for listening to my quick overview of how everything is going. And I might send some ComFest updates. We'll see how things go. Take it easy.